What's going on, everybody? It, we're back. Okay, we're back from Asia, but our brains are, are not back. What, what do you think? I'm back. I don't know about you. I've been working on this system this whole time. <laughs> so, what, what are you doing here, dude? What, what's happening here? What is this? Just the, the new system here. So, this was our old acclimation station. It's going to go away soon. This is the new quarantine station. So basically when the fish comes in, it's gonna go in here and these tanks get treated before going into the tanks back there. That's where we ship out of, correct? But right now, all the shipments that we got coming from Asia are coming when? Uh, I think it's starting to come in next week. Thursday, Saturday, the week after that, it's and all it's, lined up. It's a lot of fish. It's gonna be a lot of fish, but we just got some more in today. But this is a special fish. Yeah. What do you think about these fish, Fajai? You had this lined up uh, even before we left, right? Right. Yeah. So, so just here. just arrived, and it's. I think you guys are gonna love it because it's a go. It's a golden morph color, but we have six of them, so we're gonna put them for sale because we already oh, have some. One really special one. Right? There's one special one that we're gonna show it to you guys, but I think that uh, these we're not gonna keep. We're gonna sell because we already have yeah. plenty, right? These are for sale. Uh, in the past, this is a very expensive fish. It's hard to get, but of course, we're able to find the sources and provide better pricing for you guys. So now, it's a fish that's attainable for, for people now. Okay, so right. we're going to start acclimating these, show you guys them in that tank. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to use these tanks here because Fajai is almost done. He did a pretty good job, dude. Do you think he comes out super clean and good like that because I don't help you? <laughs> yeah, I, no rushing. I take my time. Everything is perfect. Yep. It's all clamped down. Everything looks good. Line up. Okay. So let's start opening these boxes. And after we open these boxes, because it's the same fish, but it's not really an unboxing video, I'm going to take you guys around and show you whatever fish we have left at the shop before we get the new shipments in. Let's go. All right, Pajai. It's going to be the easiest unboxing I ever did. What's so easy about it? The amount of fish. Okay. Well, it looks like it's a lot of boxes, but they're all like one per box, right? Yeah, but it stinks. It stinks? It stinks. They probably didn't purge it. Look at that. Okay, nice. So this is a, what do you say, 13, 14 inch? Maybe 12? Uh, 12, uh, yeah, 12, 13 12, maybe. 12, 13, golden barramundi. All right, we were able to get them smaller and cheaper, so we're gonna put them on the website for you guys. We have six of them, a different type of barramundi and regular barramundi. So we're gonna put them away right now so you guys can see. But yeah, his water is a little. Just little dump bad. the whole bag in there and then we'll acclimate it out. Can you hold the, the second bag? Beautiful fish. You open the water in the back of that. I'm gonna open it right now. Just checking if the eyes are uh, clear eyes or uh, like looks, that pinkish, so it it's albino. Pinkish, yeah. right? Yeah, because in the past there's uh, what we call um, the leucist. Uh, is it leucistic? No, not leucistic. Exantic, where the eyes are black. But we've known, uh, we've had experience with those turning back, like picking up gray shading or turning all black. But this albino type doesn't do that. That's right. why these cost a lot more. So what they told me, they actually turn golden after a certain size. Really? Yeah. They started regular and they turn golden after a certain size. I kind of suspected that. What makes it? What makes the fish do that though? Huh? huh? What makes the fish do that? I don't know. <laughs> right? Because look, these would have for the longest time here and they're fully yellow. I kept this guy. And there's another one on the other side. Right there. So they never change their colors. They're fully yellow. But I did see some change before. That's why when we do get them, we like to look at their eyes. Um, I also seen color more fish change color due to uh, water quality or internal problems. But 
I think these guys are going to have no problems. You would naturally think if it's albino, it's born with the red eyes and it should be yellow. So now I'm a little bit confused, but I mean, the eyes are crystal clear right through. So it's definitely an albino, but that's strange if you say they, they're... He said after 350 grams, uh -huh. that's when they, they're able to change color. So Weird. that means if you buy a normal small barrel Monday, it might change. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Oh, so there's a bunch of little ones in there. <laughs> you guys better buy it up. Yeah, super cool fish. So since it's the same fish, we're just gonna open them all, put them all behind me here at the quarantine station, and then I'm gonna take you guys along for the stock video. We also got some really cool fish that came in the other day, but we didn't film. These guys are doing amazing. Um, they're supposed to go to the Legacy Aquarium, but they're not ready yet, so I'm gonna hold them here and two, they're ready to go. There's two of them. It's a lot, it's a lot, but I, I'm just worried. Are you worried about next week? With the amount of fish coming I'm, in? I'm very worried, that's why I'm trying to get this system done <laughs> before then. Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't think we have enough tanks to hold everything that we bought. Um, it's gonna be multiple shipments from the same countries because it was just too much fish that we couldn't even get the flight space. Really? All right, so we guys got a lot of work to do next week. While we're putting these guys away, we came across another box. Just show them real quick, okay? It's a beautiful fish. All yellow. Looks good, let's clear up the water first. Yeah, now this one here, I don't think I've ever seen one before. I'm just gonna cut the bag. What are we looking at? It's a long fin bear mundi. Okay, I can see it a little bit. I see the, the tail and the bottom fins are much longer, kind of like a fancy goldfish, right? So why, well, what makes a fish do that? I have no clue. It's crazy, right? Just things happen when you breed fish. Like, I've seen an Asian iguanas with, with that extra fin and it costs a lot more, right? Yeah. We call it a sword fin, but this is, this is something different. Oh, let me put this here. Oh, that's asking for disaster. Hold on, hold on, I got it, I got it. Look at it, look at the long fins. Yeah, this is really cool. I think in a big tank when he's swimming, the, the fins are like gonna be flowing. But it's weird because the front, the, the pectoral fins are not like the tail. Yeah, so it's like a, a partial long tail. It's the only long fin that they had available. They said they'd never seen one before, so we had to get it. But the other ones are still golden and we have smaller, regular ones. So we're gonna put them away, we'll be right back. We're done putting all these guys in the tank. They're all acclimating well. This one right here is pretty much all done. The long fin one is super weird, but cool fish at the same time. This guy just got in there, but you can see their eyes are like red. So their colors are not going to change. But it's weird to believe that they start off like this and they turn yellow after a certain age. Right? Yeah, that puzzles me. I'm gonna look into it. I'm curious. So all these guys are gonna be on the website. Maybe we're gonna keep the long fin one. You know, we don't know yet. Kevin was talking about it would be a cool fish to breed and then uh, see if the treat would pass to the other fish. But, all right, let's go here. Are these, um? Are these yellow pearls still for sale? Or are you uh, keeping them, the yellow pearls? So we got, these guys have been here for a little bit. They're actually really, really pretty. There's two of them. We have cross river puffers. They're all doing super well. A couple more. Stingrays up here. Albino black diamond hybrids. I like that one a lot. That looks like a like a tiger. Let me see it from the top. And down here we have the green fulhas. These are really cool species of like silver dollar paku. And they get super green in the tanks too. Right now they're in this white tank, so they lose a little bit of their color. Couple short body kelberries. These rays are very active up here. 
these are the more more types of hybrids really pretty phantoms they're all I'd say probably six inches at this point all big phantoms it's another golden bear money that we're keeping but he came in just the same size as these other guys we've just been pounding food on him to grow him out got a couple mbus over here oh this is a potato puffer MBU, the ST detonoids, they're all looking great. We have smaller ones on the side, but the colors are amazing. We got an albino pearl here. Here are the Cuban guards. That's what's left. There's not many left at all. Uh, some of these guys are probably like seven to eight inches, like this guy right here. But after that there will be no more for a while we have one smaller golden goonch i think kevin kevin wants to keep that one the donuts but this one is available these guys are available i love this strong orange on this on these rays i think two of these karuskins are sold we only have two left and after that, we're probably not going to be able to get any more for a while. Albino arrows. We have these marble Tiger Chauvinos. And it's funny because some of them have red eyes with a black eye. So, so that, that side has red. This guy has red on both. This one is red on one side and I think dark on the other. Super cool fish, there's not many left. It's from the last batch. Here we have the Fogos. Putting on some weight, doing great. So these are called Leopard Cynodontas, Paradollas. That's what Fejai was saying. Apparently they're rare. It's the first time we got them in. So this is a, a bunch of rainbow fish. Marble Angels, Adolphi Corridors. All these guys should be on the website. These are fish that we're growing for the exhibit. Look at the clown. It looks beautiful. When we first got this fish, he was literally like that big. And look at him now. Very pretty. You got an albino tiger shelf a nose. Albino luteus. We got some rope fish over here. Not many. You're gonna see a lot of empty tanks too because we haven't gotten any shipments in. These aeropimas came in before we left to Asia and they're all doing great. Full belly, super healthy. Now here we have some high body gouramis, red tail gouramis, eye spot cynodon. So we got one, two, three, and then four down here. Super cool fish. These are spotted Congo buffers. Bumblebee Oscars. Again, all these guys came in before we left. They're all super healthy. These are the mono. The silver monos. So this is a peacock bass, like a mono, same species, but they have no color. They're just silver, which is pretty cool because usually they're green and yellow. So it's a color morph for this species. Here we got some Chinese perch. I believe there's only two left. The albino Chinese algae cleaners. I have a feeling Fei Jai didn't put these guys on the website. These are the Tiger Chauvinos Akara Hybrid. Red Cheek Barbs. Giraffe Nose Catch. Our ideal fish in here. We have this pair right here that the best offer would take it home. And we can ship it next week. Because I don't even know where they are. Albino Clowns. 
spotted leaf fish. Some sex fasciatum. Surprisingly, he's not really picking on anybody. The dolphin cat, a unicorn dolphin cat, like Kevin called. These dudes are here pretty cool too. They would grow them out. We have some wild monos here. Uh, these are Atlantic tarpons, small baby Atlantic tarpons. This flower horn is actually really nice for size. A lot of red, a lot of yellow, great markings. Got some Baramis. This one's nice too. Pearls everywhere. Just gotta wait for the for the hat to come up. Got some silver arowanas. Parrots, this is what's left. But we should be getting a, a whole shipment of parrots soon. So these are some Adonis decors. We have a group of them. A little bit of flag tails. Are we did we ever finalize the big flag tails in Asia? Did we get them? I think we did. <laughs> there was so much right? shit going on. Yeah, I know. Um, I don't remember half of it. I think we did though, like probably like this size, like a good six inch. So it's gonna be a we good size. We didn't go size. crazy with like the really big ones. Now these right here, we've been growing them for a while, right? Yeah. And they look pretty healthy. So I'm gonna these, give myself a pat on the back. I did a good job growing them. Okay. So these are not very easy to to keep, right? I mean, no. When they first come when in, they they're very delicate. Um, requires a whole series of treatments and 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 fattening them up and getting them strong and healthy. And then once you do that, they start growing really well. They take off. So these are the blue eye tetras. Okay, these are albino redhead geos. Albino redhead tapajos. As these fish get bigger, they get prettier and prettier. There's more of the blue eye tetras here. These are the spotted dumba. We don't have that many left. Really cool fish as well. Look at they're all hanging out. These are the blue Aymara. So this is an Aymara wolf fish. They're all just hanging out. But this comes from a river that when they get bigger, they have a nice blue coloration to them. Regular clown knife. This pure Iba has been here for a few months, and when he came in, it was just skin and bones. We used our medicine, we treated, and I can't believe, I, th I thought he was gonna die. And he's already like literally 95% back to normal. Black Widow from Tozas. It's a good size, probably around three inches. Some Naritas, Pink Tail Chelsea's. We got some ornates down here. Up here we have the red masseurs. There's two of them left. And then we have the panda eye. Um, uh, which one was this? Humpala. The panda eye Humpala, that's two of them. These are a hybrid of peacock bass that I got from Brazil. And they're really, really pretty. I'll, I'll see if I can remember to get a picture, but you see this one with the big black bar here? They're all gonna turn out like that. When this fish gets big, it's a very, very pretty uh, peacock bass for sure. Got a couple of plecos here, some blue ipanakis, some false zebras, the blue boltia. A yellow tail boat here. I think these guys are on sale. So if you like them, you can get them on sale right now. This is a group of uh, short body albino tinfoil bars, but I don't think that they're even on the website yet. These are nice. I'm looking at this big guy here. He's really nice markings. We have a couple. Thunder Royal, Thunder Lion Royal, bigger giraffe, bigger what I mean is like seven, eight inches.
these are the Shutadini Senadanas. I love their markings though. It looks like a little little leopard. And that's pretty much everything. We got a couple Tetras, Cardinal Tetras, small size, some uh, blue phantoms. And then these are the blue Mercier's. Now, I have one coming that's probably from from the end of the tank to here. And I think you guys, when you see this fish at a, at a bigger size, you're gonna fall in love with it because the colors are amazing on these guys. They're always swimming, very pretty fish, very peaceful. We have babies right now, but I don't think a lot of people know what they will turn out to be and they will turn out to look like, and that's why um, they don't sell as well. But I'm pretty sure once you do see it, these guys are amazing. I can't wait to have a whole school of them for the exhibit. So I think that's it. I showed you every fish that we have. It's not many, it's not much at all. But now we have to add those uh, barramundis and uh, wait for the new shipments to come in, which should be quite a few. Pajai, yeah. any, more, any more information I need to pass it to them? I don't know. I don't know About what fish? What do you got? Because you're, you're the one that talks in Chinese. I don't talk Chinese. Okay. So okay, so what's the question? When are they coming? What fish? All of them. Oh, okay. Uh, China and Thailand is coming next week. Okay, uh, one half of it, and then uh, we're gonna give ourselves a week to absorb those fish, and then the week after that, probably again China and Thailand again. Um, I think we have to do some uh, Brazil glycos as well, so uh, we're gonna work on that, and then uh, I think. I think Colombia should be opening up soon again, and then maybe we'll try to get something there. But I'm telling you, the amount of fish we have coming from Asia is a lot. We're not going to have enough space. No. All right. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.